Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan with theebookreader.com. So let's do a PDF review on the 8-inch Kobo Forma today. So uh, this is Kobo's latest ebook reader. It's got sort of a tapered design with a flared sort of edge there where the uh, page buttons are located. It also has a power button there, and it also has this a rotation sensor. So it'll automatically rotate to landscape and portrait mode. So you can switch it around however you want to use the buttons. Um, so it's definitely best suited for landscape mode when it comes to PDFs. It'll cut the page in half essentially. Uh, and then you can just page forward using the buttons or you can tap the screen and then it'll go down the page like so. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the features here or the lack of features. I mean, they don't really have a whole lot going on the Kobo software here. So um, you can install different software like CoReader. I mean, that's what I installed on the Kobo Aura 1, but it's not available on the Kobo for me yet. But keep an eye on that on the CoReader page. They'll probably update it for the Forma. So as you can see, the text, the images, they look really good on the 300 PPI 8-inch screen. Um, obviously the eight inch screen is still a little bit small for PDFs. That's why it's, they're kind of better suited for landscape mode. It does kind of have a lot of ghosting though, as you can see here with this PDF, cause it's got a lot of images and, uh, stuff going on. So it's best to use the page refresh, set it to like one page. If you're using a PDF like this, then you won't get so much of the, uh, after image effect when turning pages, uh, you get the more of a flashing effect though. So it's kind of a trade off. Um, but yeah, sometimes the PDF can kind of get slow with the page turns. Um, but it kind of just depends on the individual PDFs. The software seems to like some better than others. Some basic text-based text -based PDFs are going to work a little bit better than this one. This one's like a 90 megabyte image-based PDF. Uh, but Kobo software doesn't have any kind of on-screen features. You can't add notes. You can't add highlights. You can't look up anything in the dictionary unless you just hit the dictionary link right here, and then you can manually type in a word. Uh, you can also run searches in... Uh, and through here um, and then there's also this list that'll come down and then you can scroll through the different results um, but uh, the landscape mode it doesn't work for any part of the interface it's kind of annoying uh, it only works like when you're in the book um, so yeah uh, like some pdfs it sort of depends so like this cutting and page thing that they added with the landscape mode is nice uh, except some pdfs like this one require a third page turn at the bottom and there's only like an eighth of an inch extra uh, and then it'll make it uh, turn the page again even though it doesn't, doesn't do anything like i said there's no on-screen features no hyperlinks um you've got this scroll or the zoom dial right here so you can zoom in it does this really annoying flash thing though i don't know what its deal is and it'll show like the top left of the screen for a second and then go back um so yeah it's kind of a give you a headache if you're using it too much here but uh the problem with the zoom option is that once you turn the page it'll reset to the top left of the screen and at this point uh the device is just frozen up Sometimes, I don't know, the PDF software, it's just a little bit iffy. Uh, here we go. It finally responded here. Uh, and like I said, it goes to the top left of the page whenever you turn pages if you have it manually zoomed in. Um, so it's kind of an issue there. Uh, so let's go ahead, reboot it. Let's see if we can get a little bit smoother experience here. So here, this is what I was trying to explain. When you use the zoom dial to like get rid of the margins, then you turn the page and it resets to the top left anyway. So it kind of defeats the purpose. It doesn't keep the margins crop there is no actual margin crop feature just the zooming feature so definitely uh could be better uh you can scroll down the page this way um unless you have it set specifically so if we double tap here it'll zoom back out so once you have it set like this then it'll scroll nicely down the page instead of doing that top left re reset thing so i mean it does work to some extent kind of depends on how your pdfs are going here like i said you don't have any notes no highlights so it's pretty basic uh, you get more features with kindles and onyx is pretty much the best as far as it goes for pdfs check out my onyx note review uh, it's obviously a lot more expensive but with the larger screen definitely worth it for pdfs if you can do a lot of pdf reading here so you just got the basic features with the uh, kobo you got the table of content support you can go back um, and it's got like this page dial thing right here you can jump to different parts of the book uh, you can add uh, bookmarks by tapping the top right of the screen and then it'll get added to your annotations list that you can access uh, from the menu bar right here with the annotations then you can jump back to your bookmarks from there um, so yeah not a whole lot of features on the kobo software um, here's a look at the same pdf in portrait mode obviously a lot smaller definitely best suited for the landscape mode on this device as far as pdf reading goes so i mean this software could greatly benefit from like a cropping feature you could get rid of the margins on pdfs like this um, you can use the zoom dial like i said it's really i don't know why they have all that flashing going on it's kind of awkward to use uh, you got the fit to width fit the height options over here on the right as well um, but it would be nice like if you could just get rid of the margins and sort of leave it like this and then turn the pages like that but um, it always resets to the top left. So it's really kind of an oversight on Copa's part to not have better software. Um, you can do the scrolling to get back in line. 
You can also do pinch zooming. It's kind of uh, jagged and you know jumpy on the uh, Cobra software. They've never really been very smooth with the pinch zooming, but it is an option. But all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Check out the full review of the Kobo Forma on the eBookReader.com as well as my other reviews. So again, I'd recommend Onyx if you really need a lot of PDF features and be able to write on the screen and stuff like that. Check out my Onyx Books Note review. Um, but I mean, the Kobo it's okay if you just need a little bit of basic PDF reading here. Um, again, thanks for watching. Bye.